Number nine, we have a binomial two pieces times this trinomial three pieces. So two pieces times three pieces, six piece total is what we're going to get. I'll multiply three in through to each of these pieces. And then I'm going to do the two through to each of those pieces and I'll give us six pieces. Then we'll combine who can be combined. So three n times two n squared. Well, three times two gives me six and n times n squared is n cubed. Now three n times four n. Three times four is 12. N times n is n squared. And finally, three n times a three, nine n. Now let's do the two. Two times two n squared. Two times two is four. So that's four n squared. Two times four n. Two times four, eight n. And two times three is six. Notice we have six pieces here. Who can go together? Well, six n cubed is by himself. 12 n squared plus four n squared gives you 16 of those n squareds. And then nine n plus eight n is 17 n. And then you simply have the number six. So there's our answer. Number 10. Same exact same thing we're going to do. Distribute it through two pieces. Binomial times three pieces. Trinomial is going to give us six pieces. Two times two, four. N times N. Excuse me. N times N squared is N cubed. Two N times the three N. Six N times N squared. Two N times the four minus eight N. Now let's do the one three. Well, that's easy enough because anything times one's itself. So one times two n squared, two n squared. One times three n, three n. One times the negative four, negative four. Now let's just put together what can be put together. Four n cubed, six n squared plus two n squared is eight n squared. <clears throat> Lose eight n, gain three n, you've lost five n and then you have the number subtract fourth end.